<laughs> okay. I want I want JYJ now. <laughs> no, you want JYJ right now. <laughs> so, um, so we're gonna be talking more about, oh no, everybody's future husbands that is JYJ, and um, you know, uh, <laughs> not yours, I guess. <laughs> so, Thanks, by the way, you want to you want JYJ right now? That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> on iTunes and Amazon.com. Do you <laughs> right now? <laughs> they would. <laughs> so um, yeah. So uh, talking to a lot of fans from you know different walks of life. Um, you know I've got you know I had like a lot of opportunities to talk to every, you know every single one of them and um. You know, it's either you know they want to either be you know get married to JYJ or you know or at least get close to them. And you know, I think one they that they would really like is to work with them. So, you know, since you had the uh, opportunity to, to work that you know to work with them, you know, what is the most enjoyable part about working with JYJ? Oh, right. Um. Let me just say that. You know, as, as much hard work goes in the rehearsal and the prep and the show, one of the best parts about working with them is that they are still, they still like to have fun and they're still, you know, it's not taken so serious. Like, they do the work and then they have a good time. They're, they're willing to, you know, do both. But, you know, once the work is done, they're like, hey, let's celebrate. So it's really cool. Uh, to work with people that are so personable and so normal, and that's maybe something that a lot of JYJ fans might not know about them, is that they're, you know, as, as famous and as cute as they are, they're normal, you know, and they like them and, and just have a good time and enjoy life. <laughs> From a dancer's point of view and a first point of view, what part of the members' dancing style stood out to you the most? Either you can use either JYJ as a whole, or since you said you had to rehearse with them individually, what stood out from each, from each member? Well, okay, one thing that stood out actually was how fast. Um, they kept choreography really fast. And then, you know, we only had a, a very small amount of time to work with them, period. For them to learn all of that material in such a short time and get on stage mm-hmm. and get it was very important. Um, I know Jinsu definitely learns cricket because mm-hmm. just so people that are that okay, keep going, keep going, give me more, give me more. <laughs> <laughs> and the other two, the other two, I'm not, I'm not saying that they don't learn fast either, but um, they all have their strong suits in there. So, actually, but, um, when they put it all together. Pretty magical. The three of them are such a such a unit. They work. They look so good together. And you know, their dancing just part of all of the dancing and their singing, which is a really you know, you know that's why a lot of people sing. They get a lot of breath and then sing. But and these guys are best in them. and they, you know, that's why I told the dancers before we got out there. I was like, say no, they're going to be running your money because they're not paying. <laughs> they're for real. They're serious. So I just like, no, you've never worked with an artist who works so far. Fans are actually going to be really amazed to hear that instead of having days or weeks to, know, to learn some of this choreography, they only had a few hours with you, especially the showcase. I don't think anybody knew that choreography was taught to them the night before. Yeah, we didn't get um, an until like the day before. We all know that they're hard workers, but the fans are just going to be completely in shock. Just them going from not knowing what dance they're going to do at all to learning it to be able to just perform it on stage. Yeah, yeah. With and look perfect. Look you absolutely know, perfect. Not, not miss a beat. Not, you know, no mess up. No nothing. So, I can see. So, uh, 
So hopefully nobody press delete. That would be kind of sad. I know, right? You know, have to read it. How was the atmosphere when you're rehearsing? I know you said Jinsu, I'm ready for the next scene, I'm ready for the next scene. But is it always like that? or? Well, keep in mind that night of rehearsal, we had finished the show. Um, it was not going to play our musical. Yeah, he was in uh, Mozart. Mozart, exactly. Oh, exactly. After the show, he had rehearsal. This was like at midnight. And it's like a little energizer about him. You know, he learned almost the entire dance in like 30 minutes. And then was like, okay, go, done. <laughs> <laughs> so the work environment when they're around, it's really fun. You know, it's serious to a point. Like, get the work done, learn what you gotta learn. But everybody has such a good time doing it. And it's very respectful. There's, you know, no drama. There's no attitude. Nothing. Everyone just wants to do the work. So what was your most memorable moment during either the showcase or the concert involving JYJ? Most memorable moment. Or most comical moment, whichever comes to mind first. Yeah, there's a couple. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, there's technical difficulties always when doing a show of that scale, like the concert at the stadium. Um, it was a huge introduction that we put on in a very so there's a certain amount of you know, uh, mix up or you know, difficulties, we'll say, or mistakes, whatever, that are just going to. But none of those mistakes were on the part of they went. Um, they were where they were supposed to be. They did exactly what they were supposed to do at all times. Like, to have that happen is almost unheard of. And then also to watch them react and not react mistakes that were being made. You know what I mean? They just kept on going. The show must go on. And they did not see the pictures. Hey, whatever, fix it. Let's go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it, it's really awesome. There were no no stops. We had no opportunity to go and push through it. And their peak was also Okay, so uh, you already told us you're amazed about you know how fast they learn the you know the moves for the choreography of the concert and you know um you already you already you already said that you love them as an artist as a musicians as singers so um were you able to get the uh, the new album the the rooms were you able to get it and what was your impression of it? No, I don't. Yeah, what is that? Um. Oh. JYJ's Their Rooms is their music essay to the Korean fans. It was recently released, and it's actually music all completely written and composed by JYJ themselves. Um, the songs that might have heard them and not know they were on it. The songs that were on the, the new performance. The showcase, too. Yeah. Action, Piero, oh. um, Ideal Scenario, and The Nine. Those were actually compiled with a very large diary photo book type thing I have, I'm staring at it right now <laughs> presented to their fans as a way of thanking them for waiting for them patiently so what did you think about those tracks well mission is so cool <laughs> <laughs> my favorite song to dance and the following um, their ballads are so, a lot of the, you know, um, I guess scenario is really fun to do. I like that one. Oh, Piero. Bye, bye, bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's been um, playing, playing their music for, I don't you know, yeah. friends of mine or whatever, a friend of us. And I'll use day by day. <laughs> that we use there's something for everybody so many different styles of, of dance to it which is really cool but also I'm like what do you think about this song and they're like hey who's this and then I go into the whole field I was like hey and who's a you know and spread the words 